Hello friends, welcome to the channel Physics by IITNs. In this video, we shall learn about Drude model. We shall understand the basics of Drude model and its application in the physics. So what is Drude model? Drude model is a pre-quantum mechanical or semi-classical model and it is still roughly applicable for simple alkaline metals. Now, the Drude model was proposed in 1900 by scientist Drude to explain the transport properties of electron in materials, especially in metals. Okay, so what is the uh, basic assumption of Drude model? You have to understand. Before understanding this, we have just look a recap of kinetic theory of gases. So how we treat the gas molecules when we apply the kinetic theory for the for its study. So we treat this gas molecules as neutral solid spheres that moves in a straight line until the next any collision. Now there is no forces act on them during the travel time and the average time it travels before suffering collision that is called relaxation time or mean free time. Now this collision occur and that completely randomize the velocity that is it erase all the previous memory or all the previous path of the gas molecules and particles emerge after collision with the speed appropriate to the temperature of the region where collision happened and these are the all basic assumptions for the kinetic theory of gases. Now the application of this kinetic theory to the classical electron gas. Let us apply it to the material case. Let us to be specific apply it to the metal case where the iron core of the atoms are immobile and the electrons remain tightly bound to the nucleus in case of core electrons. But the valence electron they are loosely bound and for the metal case they can wander around the entire metal from the conduction and this form the conduction electrons. Now understand this electrons unlike this gas molecules they are charged and they are moving in the background of other charged entities. And what is the electron density? Electron density up to the order of 10 to the power 28 per centimeter cube in a metal. So Drude is still applying the kinetic theory and this is valid for neutral dilute classical gas which is valid for neutral dilute classical gas. Drude apply this to the metals. So what was the basic assumption of Drude? He assumed that between the collisions of electrons, electrons move in a straight line when there is no presence of any external electromagnetic field and the effect of electron electron interaction is ignored and the effect of electron ion interaction is also ignored. The mean free time between this collision is let us suppose it is tau then the probability of collision per unit time is 1 by tau probability of having a collision in infinite similar time interval dt is dt by tau. So is tau is independent of the electron position or velocity. Now the third approximation was electrons achieve thermal equilibrium by collisions with lattice. They emerge after collision at a random direction with the speed appropriate to the temperature of the region where the collision happened. The hotter the region the higher the speed of the emerging electron. Now how this model will give you the distinction between the metal and insulator, how the electrical transport of metals will occur in this model, how the thermal conductivity of metals will be uh, established and this all can be find out from the Drude model which is semi-classical model. So let us suppose take the application of the truth model. We know the DC electrical conductivity of metal. We know the Ohm's law that is V equals to IR or we can write E equals to rho into J. 
the, suppose the number of electrons with velocity v that is crossing area a in time dt that will be n into v into a dt now each has the charge of negative e so current density will be j equals to minus n into rho or uh, sorry j equals to rho into v or it can be written as minus n into e into v now electrons are moving randomly so we have to take the average velocity for this v term so in equilibrium this average velocity vanishes when there is no electrical current uh, so there will be no electrical current why the average velocity is vanishes because some of the electron will move left side some of it will move right side some of will move to up direction some will move to the backward direction so average velocity will be vanished and then there will be no external electric current no net current would be produced in uh, when there is no external current now suppose i apply electric field externally then the electron will have a velocity in the form v is v naught minus e capital e t by small m where this capital e is the external electric field and t is the time since the last collision and v naught is the velocity that the electron come out just after the last collision and the direction is random so v average can be written as v naught average minus e into e that is coulombic force divided by m equals to can be written as minus e e tau by m or j can be written as minus n e b that is n into e square tau by m into e where the sigma term it can be written as n e square tau by m so j equals to sigma e okay so this is the dc conductivity of the drude model and this successfully establishes the ohm's law in the metal case now how reasonable is the formula is the formula is true or not so first of all consider a metal case so let us take tau is the order of 10 to the power minus 14 to 10 to the power minus 15 second and take the average velocity v as 10 to the power 5 meter per second at room temperature where do we get this formula uh, expression that is half mv square the kinetic energy equals to 3 by 2 kt so that will give that l of the order of 10 amstrong 1 to 10 amstrong that is interatomic species of inside a metal so Drew is pretty happy because his formula can explain the dimension and can explain the quantities pretty well. So friends, there is an uh, uh, announcement from us that we have already arranged the test series to guide you how to perform NET, uh, to guide you and boost up your preparation for the NET exam. And it is also uh, beneficial for the GIST and GATE and TIFR like exams. And also we have started our special interview guidance package to know more. Please contact this phone number or contact this email ID or you can ask in our telegram channel. So exclusive offer for those students to, in the interview guidance program who have registered to our test series. Now let us come to the discussion again. We have established the Ohm's law in the metal case. So we want to study more like the general equation of motion for the electrons under a force f of t suppose the momentum of the electron at any time t is p is function of t the two things can happen in the next time interval dt one thing is they can undergo collision with probability dt by tau and they lose all the momentum and emerge with the random momentum ft dt and their contribution to the momentum of the system is dt by tau into ft dt. And another case is possible that is they do not under collision with probability 1 minus dt by tau. And after time dt, their momentum is pt plus ft dt. And their contribution to total momentum of the system is 1 minus dt by tau into pt plus ft dt. Okay, so what will be the net momentum at time t plus dt? It can be written as p at t plus dt equals to 1 minus dt by tau into pt plus f of t dt plus this random component plus ft dt square by tau. 
and we do not consider more higher order terms of dt. So we neglect other terms in dt. So what will happen here? If we just uh, solve this equation, you will get that rate of change of p with respect to t, that is dp dt, will be minus pt by tau plus f of t, where this collision acts as a damping term here because this is a negative term, right? So it will dampen the motion of the electron. So this is ft is the external or this is the Coulombic force. So if you write this dp by dt in terms of this expression, so you get the ddt of average p of t is equal to the force that is q into e plus p t cross b by a minus this damping model that is minus the uh, average of p t by tau. And the other relationship which we have already got that is the relationship between the current density J and the electric field E that is J equals to sigma E where sigma is n q squared tau by m. So these are the two most significant results of the Drude model for the electron equation of motion inside a metal. So friends, hopefully the video will be helpful for you. Please do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel and please subscribe. We will discuss more physics and we will discuss more models in the next video. Thank you friends. Please do subscribe and join our telegram channel for regular updates and quiz questions.